I'm Anya. I'm Emmett. I'm DC. I can pull it back together. Do it yourself. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it yourself. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Um, the girls are loud and more. Days confused. Uh, yeah, and we got our first piece of um, fan mail today. She read about us online and she was just like, "Hey, <laughs> it's really nice." Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Luke. We're uh, in the so middle of an interview. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's fine. This is Sarah. <laughs> So it's four songs, DIY, um, Not About You, uh, Bully Girl. Girl, and Deep Heat. Um, and the whole theme of DIY is about kind of being self-sufficient um, as a woman in a world that seeks to crush you and make you feel like shit, and make you feel dependent on men and dependent on money. Um, so it's anti-capitalism and anti-patriarchy and self-sufficiency and self-confidence and women's liberation all wrapped up in one. Um, and so there's a combination of those themes within all of the songs. And so we did it over a weekend um, and just did it sort of live in the room, like guitar, drums, bass, and then um, layered up vocals over that. So like, you'll hear yeah. that the record has a really live sound, it's really energetic, and like, there are little mistakes, and then we left them in because it's just like, it's quite like raw or something. Everything we do is centered around kind of women's liberation and messages that reinforce that. shared politics and shared values and then it also turns out that we also love playing music and then we decided to do it together. I, well Jenny posted an advert on a Facebook group called like Girls Forming Bands UK which is so good and then I just responded to that and the rest is history. <laughs> it's last July. Well yeah because um, Jenny had come to see me play um, in this venue when I was with a different band and I think we'd already been kind of maybe talking about it, but after that, Jenny was texting me like, we are make, we're at the start of band, we've got to start, we've got to start a punk band. And I was like, fuck it, when I, when I get back from Mexico, we're doing that straight away. And it was just like, it suddenly became a very urgent priority in, in like both of our lives. We were like, fuck, we need faces. <laughs> so I like, put a Facebook say so, like, are there any badass lady feminist faces out there? And everyone was like, me! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in bands when I was younger, and then I just kind of thought it wasn't really happening anymore. And then, um, then I saw this and I was like, well, what perfect way to get back in stuff. I don't love them all. <laughs> Different reasons. Um, don't know, I actually think DIY is probably my favourite song. Because, um, so the story of DIY, I kind of wrote it back to front because 
I wanted to have a song that is based around affirmations. So like, I am good enough, I am strong enough, that kind of thing. Because I used to work with domestic violence survivors and one of the most powerful sessions that we would always do was on affirmations. And like, when you've had your self-confidence and self-belief and like identity completely fucking crushed by someone, and not only that, but like told that you're shit, told that you can't do anything, told you're ugly, told you're stupid, all these things, like, you really start to believe them and telling yourself that you, like, not that you're amazing, not that you're, you know, phenomenal and superwoman, but like, just that you are good enough. And fuck it, like, if you're good enough, if you're good enough to do anything, you can do anything you want, so just do it! Um, so I think, like, given the, the history of that, um, and also just like, how good it makes me feel when I sing it, and I like, sing it to myself all the time, and substitute the lyrics for other things, I think, it's like a personal cheer chant, that's my favourite. <laughs> the less academic and um, sort of politically sound reasons, um, well, in the sense of just like reading things like that, because I just really, really like get a lot of joy out of playing it, it makes me laugh, it makes me piss myself laughing still, and I can't look at any of the women I'm playing it because I, I will break my concentration to put it not being able to play this out anymore. We don't make eye contact with that song. I keep it because we want to die laughing. <laughs> We're like, what are we singing about? And it's just, it's so great. I love it. That's why. Yeah. Anger is the most important energy there is on this earth. Like, you don't get anything done half as good if you're not angry about it. And I don't know, as a society, we, we don't really understand how to channel it or use it properly. So that's Especially why, women, right? Yeah, yeah, particularly women. Like, so that's why you end up with violence. That's why you end up with people beating the shit out of each other. But also, like, as women, that's why you end up hating your fucking self. Because the world is so hostile and makes you so angry. It makes you, like frustrated and trapped and there's no public outlook for that so you end up turning in on yourself and just like yeah it's so unhealthy and so anger like when channeled outwards and like when channeled at people and institutions and governments that are completely trying to fuck you over is the most powerful thing it's the most ang like, active state you can be in like it's so far away from being passive i always mm. think about anger and compared to guilt and how like, guilt makes you turn in on yourself and, like, mm. Just, I don't know, not act, but I'm going to make it to my And it's a big part of all our songs. A lot of our songs have just, you know, come from actual, you know, moments when we've been too drunk or something. Yeah. So it's great to like, get a half there and yeah. have a healthy channel. Like that. Exactly, and do something positive with it that mm -hmm. other people can relate to. Cool. And also, it's just nice to be able to create a space to be angry. Like, there just aren't spaces to be angry. They just don't exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angry and not necessarily be negative. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And also, like, collective anger is such an affirmative thing. Like, when you're, like, again, living in a really hostile, patriarchal world, mm -hmm. it's so nice to be able to share that anger with other people so you don't feel like it's just you who's really pissed off at everything happening to you every day of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's enough! <laughs> we have a lot of different things. We're not even really started yet, are we? We've got, we've got a long list. Oh, yeah, There's a big hit list for our next songs. Jeez, we're <laughs> Never ending.